Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well this weekend. Hope you're having a decent quarantine. Um, I am gonna do a little bit more cooking for you. So don't ever underestimate these pad thai kits. They are really, really awesome. And just a little tip for me to you. So the sauce that comes with this, if you're a little bit worried about your sodium, which I definitely uh, watch my sodium as well, if you're a little bit worried about that, all you need to do is take the sauce packet that they give you, use half of it, and uh, mix the rest of it with a little bit of chicken broth or beef broth, depending on what you're adding into the pad thai, and uh, just add a little bit of cornstarch. So you still get the sauce, and it gets nice and thick, but you're having less of the sodium. But today I'm just making the whole thing because that's what I like. So this particular brand I absolutely love. There's a woman named Marion. She has a wonderful blog. She's out of Thailand. She and I actually talk. She's wonderful. So I'm just going to show you what's in here so you can get a feel. So the first thing we're going to make is the uh, rice noodles. So the rice noodles take about seven minutes. So I have water boiling over there now. I'm going to make that. And then I'm going to show you the rest of this video. I'm going to actually, um, you know, do the, uh, you'll be able to see what I'm actually doing after this just because of the way my phone is set up and everything. So six to seven minutes. And what it'll do is that'll make it al dente. And then you'll, it'll be a nice texture. And then when you put it into the pan for the actual like stir fry part of it, uh, it cooks the rest of it down. So then here is the sauce packet. It's done for you. You're good. You're good to go. You're all set. And then you have some peanuts in here. So obviously anyone who has, um, you know, nut allergies or anything like that, they can leave this out. But this is definitely part of it too. Now, with pad thai kits, you can absolutely just use these ingredients and, and have it completed. But I like to zhuzh it up a little bit with some colorful ingredients. So here's what I'm gonna do. I chopped up lengthwise some uh, purple onion because I love the color. And like I said, I want this to be a super colorful pad thai. And I also uh, chopped up a bell pepper for sweetness. The red ones are sweeter. I'm gonna um, zest a lime. Whenever I make Asian food, I like to use lime. Uh, I tend to gravitate towards lemon for Italian cooking and lime towards Asian cooking. So that's what I like to do. So I'll put that in there. That'll give it a nice zing. And um, then I'm going to put in the uh, spring onions. We're gonna actually put those in first. And for the vegetarian part, you could do a couple of things. Because of the limited things that are in the grocery store right now, I'm going to be using these chickpeas. It's 15 and a half ounces. And then um, at the very end, I took the green tops of the green onions and I cut them about an inch or two, and then those will wilt down really well. So that's what I have. And another thing that you can do is Chinese five spice if you would like a warming you know, uh, taste or something like that. These are a couple of different spices that are um, put together and it just creates a nice comforting warm sensation when you eat it. So it's really, really good. So Chinese five spice is another option. I'm not going to use that in this, but I wanted to tell you about it. Now I wanna share another little tip before I get to the stir fry video. So whenever you get herbs, this is cilantro. I'm actually going to decorate the top of the pad thai with cilantro. So this is the way you should store it and it lasts about a week. Uh, they like it a little bit warm, so you just put it in some water and you put a, a, a plastic bag or something of that nature over it and see how it's like kind of steamed a little bit. So you wanna, it's almost like a greenhouse effect. So you wanna put that over and that's where it thrives. I still put it in the refrigerator because I just like to have it in cold. So that's what I tend to do, but that works well too. So like I said, this is a great way to store anything like basil, or anything of that nature. So right now I'm going to boil the noodles and then I'm gonna show you how to make the rest of the stir fry. So stay tuned for the next video.